Hi guys, and welcome to a mod talk for my Let's Play Skyrim series. And let me just say before I continue, this does not mean the Let's Play is about to appear anytime soon. Um, I know the last time I did a mod talk, somebody got most upset and kind of unpleasant in the comment section, demanding that I never release a mod talk unless I was willing to release a Let's Play immediately afterwards. However, I'm sorry, I want to release a mod talk to talk about the mods I'm thinking of using. And I want to do it in advance so that you guys have got the chance to chime in on it, give me any advice. I mean, I've already decided what I'm doing, but just in case I'm doing something so monumentally stupid um, that I, I should make a change, I thought I'd do this in advance. Now, I am still on my Christmas vacation type thing. I, just, I got back from England a day or so ago uh, we've done the visiting my side of the family in England. Now we've got to uh, visit my girlfriend's side of the family um, in Norway and do th those sort of things. So I'm still busy. I'm still unlikely to get any time free in the evenings. Um, and I certainly don't have any time in the day at the moment, not with uh, the kids being off school and so on. So I'm afraid it's, it's unlikely that I will get a Let's Play done before... January. Not impossible, but unlikely. So bear with me. Um, I'm dying to start playing again. I'm, it's amazing. A few days break and I'm, I'm dying to get on. Uh, but it's, it is a simple matter of time at the moment. Kids off school during the day and doing the whole family thing anyway. So, mods. I have updated a lot of mods and I've changed a few. And um, there are two things, there are two major things I'm trying to get changed. The first thing is the difficulty. Now, um, I've, I've figured out that I didn't have locational damage headshots enabled, and so I've enabled those, including the neck. This is probably not going to make life more difficult. In fact, there are going to be times it makes life easier, but it's going to make it slightly more strategic, or tactical, excuse me. Um, because I'm going to be doing a lot more aiming for people's heads, but obviously I run the risk of getting hit in the head and instantly dying myself, which, um, you know, adds an element of panic to every fight. Even even a random bandit can now one-shot me if, um, if he gets lucky, so I've really got to avoid those arrows, and if a melee character comes nearby, don't let him hit me in the head. Anything that looks like it's going for a headshot, I've got to block. However, I don't think that's enough, and probably a lot of you have noticed recently there's been a lot of episodes where Richard literally annihilates everything in his path, and this is perfectly reasonable. You know, Richard is level 53, and most of the places we are visiting are, you know, they're more balanced for people below level 30, I think. So it's perfectly reasonable that, that Richard is wading through these uh, these people, however, you know, we do want some challenge, so I'm looking for mods that add that challenge. Now you might think, why don't you just change the difficulty from expert to legendary? And the simple reason is, I generally don't like the effect that has on the game. All it does is increase the health everything has by exponential amounts. And so I find a bandit, and suddenly I can shoot him five and six times in the chest with arrows, and he won't die. And I just find that ridiculous. It, it takes away any semblance of realism from the game. I think two arrows should be enough for most opponents. Um, and, you know, I, 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 the other thing is, is, is all of a sudden this would make Draugr, Wolves, and so on, really tough fights. And that's not what I want. Um, I don't want everything to be a tough fight because Richard is, you know, I mean, let's face it, he's a serious warrior now. He, he, he now earned his um, place as Harbinger of the Companions. He is a superb archer. He is a pretty good swordsman, actually. And when mixed with the, the sort of his choice of armor and so on, he is an exceptionally good killer of undead, um, wizards, and pretty good at killing dragons, really. I mean, that's the thing. I, I've... I've chosen equipment and enchantments specifically to survive dragon breath and spells. So against certain opponents, he's really, really good. And I want to continue with that feel, but at the same time, add a challenge. And of course, the way to do that is mods. It always is, isn't it? 
So, the first mod I'm trying is Enemy AI Overhaul. And this is apparently going to make life a little more difficult for me, especially with boss mods. And I like that idea. So, you know, if I wade through a Draugrfil dungeon and then get to the boss mod, uh, boss NPC at the end, he's going to be tougher. And I think that's okay. I think that's perfectly reasonable. It doesn't disrupt the story. Um, and so that's the first thing I'm going to try. I'm also looking at some other mods, including one called Populated Dungeons, which adds a lot of creatures into dungeons. So there'll be, there'll be more things for me to fight. And of course, whenever I get more things to fight, that's when things tend to go wrong. And apparently this mod also adds these, uh, these enemies in places you might not expect. So um, they're going to catch you out, they're going to surprise you more often. And I think that's a good thing. You know, generally speaking, I'm a very cautious and controlled kind of player. I like to, to look at the lay of the land, come up with a plan, and then control the battle. Control the battlefield. That's my motto in, in everything. Um, and of course, occasionally you lose control. Occasionally things go wrong, and that's when um, the challenge occurs. It's how well you react to the unexpected that defines how well you do as a warrior in, in this particular case. But that is also probably when it's the most fun, uh, both to play and to watch. So whilst I like planning and I like controlling things, I also enjoy it when it all goes apart and I can really start, you know, just having to try hard. So I think a mod like that would probably help. And as I said, more opponents, it's going to be harder by default. Now, that series also has a few other uh, mods, for example, populated roads and so on, but I was actually thinking of trying the Immersive Patrols mod instead. Now, that's a scripted mod, and everyone tends to freak out when they hear the word script, um, mostly unnecessarily so, I, I have to say. Um, you, sh you know, scripts are like anything, really. It's, it's, you just need to know what you're installing, and you need to know your system can handle it. My my system seems to handle scripts without any problems. I've had very few problems with scripted mods. Um, in fact, none, as far as I've uh, seen. I've never had save game blow. I've never had a variety of other things. Um, I suspect this is because I've never really pushed my grids, because I've, I've noticed that people who push their grids or you know set their game up for the graphics um, are the ones most likely to find scripts are a problem, but whatever the reason is, I don't get those problems. So I'm thinking of Immersive Patrols, um, and it does look like a very good mod, and it could add a few more interesting encounters, um, and so on. So that there are probably a variety of others. I know there are some that make combat harder. Um, do I can't remember what they're called, and I'm sure I'm going to get 3,000 suggestions down below, and I will look at all of them. But again, be aware, what I'm looking for are mods that make the game harder without it suddenly changing the Richard story. I don't want Richard to go from being a seriously good warrior to being a serious noob just because I've installed a mod. Okay, so that's the first thing, difficulty mods. The other thing is lighting. Now, it has been an ongoing problem recently, uh, really ever since I've installed Finex ENB, that whenever I go into dungeons, it's never quite bright enough, especially for the video. Now, I've updated Finex, and that has uh, some slightly better uh, lighting indoors now, but it doesn't seem to matter when I'm looking at the videos once I render them. So I don't even think it's just Finex, it's, it's partly the realistic lighting overhaul. It's designed to look good when playing, um, but unfortunately when you render to YouTube and it gets all low quality, it becomes very hard to see. Believe it or not, I can see all the time, even when it's almost pitch black, like literally, you know, you, you, you see everything in shades of black, but I can still see things moving about. On the rendered video, you can't see a damned thing. So, um, I really have been looking to fix that. I tried the latest version of Realistic Lighting Overhaul. That didn't seem to, to help. Um, and I tried a variety of things. And in the end, what I've actually done, and I'm going to show you, is I've installed ELFX. 
And you might be thinking, but, but ELFX is even darker than um, realistic lighting overhaul. And yes, it is. But I have installed the, ver uh, the options in ELFX that change the lights only, both in interiors and exteriors. It changes all the lights so they give off light. But I've not added the plugin that makes it darker inside. Now, unfortunately, this meant when I first went into this place, it was horribly bright. But as you can see, it's not actually that bright. And that's because I've also installed something called Darker Dungeons or Dark Dungeons for ENB. And that is a mod that makes dungeons a little darker. Not aggressively darker, but a little darker. So as you can see here, Kajo is is visible. He's not well lit. If I bring out my torch or my Dawnbreaker sword, there he is, nicely lit. And you can see the difference, but he's still visible. And so is everything else. And I think this is a nice mix. And it seems to keep the kind of atmosphere of the dungeon, but without the horrible glared whiteness of the vanilla. Because in the vanilla, if I just had the LFX now installed without the dark dungeon, that area there is floodlit. It literally is. It it looks like that. <laughs> that's with my uh, that's with my light source out. It looks like that, um, even without the torch out. And of course, with the LFX, I get the lovely little smoke on the candles, and all of the lights give off light sources. So I think it keeps the slightly creepy, slightly dungeon feel without making it impossible for you to see. This is going to mean I don't need the light sources often, I don't need night vision as often and so on, but I'm hoping it means that the final video will be easier to make. And if, if you're thinking to yourself, but I never had any trouble with the videos, they always were perfectly fine for me, yeah. I was increasing the brightness anything up to about 10% on all of the videos. I, I had to boost all of the videos brightness quite dramatically. Um, and I'm going to try to add this one without actually adding any brightness filters, or at least not as aggressive. One, what, the, the thing is, is when I add massive amounts of brightness, it makes the outside look terrible. And so what I have to do is go into each scene and then add brightness to specific scenes and not to others, and it takes it takes a long time, as you can imagine. I'm hoping this time, for this video, for example, I'm going to just add whatever brightness I require to make the outside look okay, to make the outside look as it does on my screen, and this inside will stay visible. So, for example, here, it's dark right at the center of my screen now. I, I can sort of make out there's some stone, but it's kind of dark. I'll put the night vision on. There you go. I can't quite see the, 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 the pattern. But I can see everything else. I can see Carjo. He's not well lit, but I can see him. And that's what I'm going for. I want to be able to see those things. I want to be able to play without worrying too much about the lighting. And don't get me wrong, it's not because I don't like the mods that make the dungeons very, very dark. I do. I love ELFX, and I love realistic lighting overhaul as well. And I think they make the game so much more tense and so much more atmospheric. Uh, there are certain dungeons where you don't know what is going on and, and you're looking into the shadows trying to find things and I think it's brilliant. But unfortunately, those few moments aside, the rest of the time in the dungeons, all it tends to do is make it very, very hard for people watching videos to see what is going on. And uh, I think in this particular case, it's, it's a matter of I'm going to have to get I'm going to have to sacrifice the the terror feeling you get in the dungeon just for the sheer visibility, just for the videos. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So that's it, really. Um, I have updated a lot of mods, as I said, but the main two points are, one, to make the game a little bit more challenging, and two, to make the video a little easier to watch uh, while still somehow keeping the dungeon feeling so uh, let me know what you think give me feedback give me suggestions for other mods that could make life more difficult or more challenging without necessarily ru ruining the 
the story of Richard being an accomplished warrior now. Okay, and um, hopefully I will start playing in a few days' time, and I will see you guys then.